All right, so what's up, Quad Squad? Yeah, let me let me get this like trippy ass stuff off the screen and uh, let's get right into it. Honestly, so yeah, Quad Squad hasn't made any 3D printing content in a long while. Yes, that's very true. Honestly, I've just been busy with everything else. Um, but honestly, I don't know if you can see this big bad boy right beside me. I just got the new Creality K1C and you know, I wanted to learn how to realistically set it up on uh, Orca Slicer because realistically, Orca Slicer, uh, Orca Slicer is the way to go right now. Um, it's simplicity for my P1P, which my PM, P1P is way back there. Um, it's honestly that is simplicity. Honestly, I have like, I've had four printers and I've only used my P1P for so long. Um, uh, but I wanted to be able to print with carbon fiber so I can make my quad squad items a lot stronger and et cetera, especially the mounts for my cup holders and my phone holders for wheelchairs. Um, so, and I wanted an enclosure for certain materials and stuff like that. So I got the K1C. So I'm going to walk you through how to A, get your K1C set up on Orca Slicer, and then B, how to connect it so you can monitor it through Wi-Fi, like your video and stuff like that, and C, how to directly print to your printer from Orca Slicer. It's a little bit of like a, a two-step process, but you don't have to do any, like going over to Creality Cloud and uploading it there or anything of the source or using a USB stick. You just, you know, slice it, save it, import it. Anyways, let's get right into it. So to set up your, your printer, so let's say that right now you're not on that, you're on your P1P. All right, so select add or select printer, and then it's gonna pull up the page. All right, then when it pulls up that page, long structure, you're gonna find K1C or K1, which is way, 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 way. Five minutes later. And there we are. Bam, K1C. Add that up. Okay, so now you've got your K1C. You're going to go over here and you're going to, it's going to then switch you over to your K1C, obviously. But since I already have it added, I'm just hopping back into it. Now I'm going to show you how to set it up with your Wi Fi. A lot of people on YouTube tell you to add your IP address. But if you reset your router because you got slow internet or whatever, it's going to change all the time. So the best way to do it is just use the printer name. So, you, you know, if you go into your device on your screen or your printer, um, go into your settings, you go into your system, scroll on the bottom, go to your about. And with your about, it will tell you what your device name is. And now you go and take that device name and you go over to here. It looks like a little Wi-Fi button. And when you add the Wi-Fi button right here, you're going to have your host name, IP URL. Um, and basically, at this point, you put in your name. So with that, uh, let me just, my screen's in the way. And I use a head mouse, so I control my whole computer with these glasses. No, they're not for style. They literally are, have a function. Um, and yeah, and then you just put in your name. So K1C. Probably fast forward this. All right, and then once you put it in, you're going to, right away, it doesn't tend to show you test. So you're going to open browse. It's going to show you nothing. Then you press OK, you close browse, and then you test it. And then it will give you a 404 error, but just ignore that 404 area error. OK, you press OK. And now, let's go check out the device tab. Bam, and you've got it right there in your device tab. All right. So now, Nick, can you print directly to your printer? Not like straight up directly, but you don't have to go anywhere out of Orchestra Acer. So do up your printer, figure out your filament, figure out your walls, figure out your parameters, and then go and press slice. If you're wondering what this item is, it's a mount for wheelchair holders, for phone holders and cup holders um, to mount it to your armrest or your side pad or whatever. Um, I just designed it recently. Um, anyways, so then you've got that, and then you can supposedly print. Before, before it was making me upload it directly to the device tab, but now it's just letting me print. All right, switch to device tab after upload, upload and print. And then it's gonna give you an error, but just ignore the error. 
all right, I came back, re-edited the video because now I'm realizing with using it more, when it came to that option of just print and then send it and start the print, I don't think it really can do that yet. If you can leave down in the comments how to make that work, but realistically, I'm gonna show you the step I was just gonna show you originally. Uh, so everything is up to date up to this point, but to start the print and upload the print, all you gotta do, go over here, put the arrow, um, export G file, and then you can save that file. And then after you go and save that file, so this is another mount for a wheelchair to mount it to your side pad instead of your armrest. Um, and with that, um, let's just save it to downloads. All right, save that there. And then you go over to the device tab and right here you'll see an import. See, this is so much easier than going to like Creality Cloud and importing. It's all in the same, you know, software. It's not really that much of an extra step, you know? Downloads, go and take that file. Okay, RAM side pad, open. Imports, and then you got it. And you press start printing. And there you go, hear it running up. All right, it's gonna get really noisy in here now because you know, it's not the quietest printer. Quietest, you like that word? I just made up some words now. Uh, quietest printer, still probably not the right word, but anyways. Anyways, if you guys like that, if you tuned in, if it helped you out, got you printed with your K1 or your K1C, or directly on Orca Slicer because that's the best slicer out there. Um, if you want more videos on, you know, printers or what's the best starter printer or anything else for my other followers, let me know. Hit me up in the comments. Love to hear from you guys. Hope this is helpful. It's actually a really cool printer. This is my second print, but I'm very experienced with 3D, 3D printing, as you know. Anyways, take it easy. Hit up one of these things for one of my past 3D printer videos and have a great day. Peace.